Alright, since I got myself together now, I'll make a little part two. So, I heard that, um, Chastity depended on, or left me because of codependency. If you don't know what codependency is, codependency means basically that person that has codependency relies on somebody else for basically support. Now, here's the thing. I don't really think she left me because of codependency. Because if she left me for codependency, why would she leave in the first place if she was relying on me? Unless she thought that so for some reason that I would, I couldn't provide for her or something. Which at the time, I was, I was the person everybody relied on. Even my friends relied on me for money, help, relationship advice, everything. All my friends that didn't have girlfriends at the time got girlfriends because of me because when I was with Chastity I felt like I could do anything and everything at, at, at any cost but 2019 come around and by the end of the year we done split up unfortunately I do often get asked if I could go back and change it, would I? My answer used to be, I would think about it. Now my answer is yes, I would. I don't know why we broke up, like I stated. I'm afraid I don't want to know. Because what if she probably was cheating or worse? And if the reason is codependency, I can still be relied on heavily. I'm still relied on heavily. I've become that one person that everybody knows that that they need I mean if you ask me for a favor I'll do it and sometimes I won't even ask for anything in return it just depends on how big of a favor it is like, if you need gas money, I get, if I got it, I'll give you gas money. If I can. If you need somebody to talk to, uh, you can talk to me. If you need advice on something, I, I can give you some advice. But, if you need, like, let me put this in perspective of my ex. After Chastity. Um. If you ask me for like 80 bucks. <laughs> I'm going to need at least a sum of that amount paid back. But. Yeah. Codependency. It just doesn't seem like it. That would be the reason. I would like to know if that is the reason. But it doesn't seem like it would be. I do want to go off one of the reasons she gave me that I did state in the last video. Um, she said, uh, 
she would like to actually see the person that she would be dating more than what we were seeing than how we were seeing each other. Here's why that would change of to how would we see each other more. Well, we're both older now than what we were, of course. I'm over the age of 18. You are 18. About to be 19. In a couple months. Uh, my situation, I did not have any more freedom than what I had before when I turned 18. I didn't get set free or set free until I was 19. But I do, I mean, not right now, but when I do get it fixed, I will have transportation. I will have a truck. I can come to your house or meet you somewhere or pick you up and we can do whatever the hell you want to do. We can see each other more. See each other every damn day. I mean, <laughs> see each other ain't a problem. Uh, we, can, we can make that happen. A lot of things have changed. So, I'm not even, I'm all, I'm going on almost a year full of uh, no alcohol, no smoking, no nothing. Only thing I've been, only drug I've been on is this energy. And I barely drink these. I mean, I'll start working out again. Matter of fact, I'm actually sore right now. Uh, the only thing I've been doing is working. Only thing. Ain't got nothing to spend money on. I like to spend on you. If I get you back as my girlfriend, it'd be the best thing that could happen. It'd be the only thing that's went right since graduation. Since my graduation. For me. I mean, not a lot has went right ever since we broke up. It's like, when you left, everything else also left. I lost friends. I lost. I lost myself. I almost didn't find myself again. But like I said, I don't think it's codependency. But if it is. I'd like to at least know. Chastity, I hope I do hope you see this. <sighs> I'm gonna read you all the actual two definitions of codependency just so y'all know what codependency is exactly. Codependency. Um, codependency is a circular relation in which one person needs the other person, who in turn needs to be needed. The codependent person, known as the giver, feels worthless, useless. They are needed by, and make, and making sacrifices for the, for the enabler, otherwise known as the taker. There are different types of. Uh, codependency. One's passive, one is active. 
Codependency refers to a complex emotional and behavioral condition that affects a person's ability to have a healthy and mutually satisfying relationship. Codependency can affect a wide range of relationships, including parents, children, siblings, friends, and significant others or co-workers. There are 11 signs of codependency. Caretaking. You tend to think and feel overly responsible for others, including their feelings, thoughts, actions, well-being, and may even feel anxiety when other people have a problem. Caretaking, that, 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 that seems very likely. These others, from what I know about you, know. Low self-worth, weak boundaries, lack of trust, problems with sexuality, control issues, dependency, of course, obsessions, uh, let's see, so it's caretaking, low self-worth, Weak boundaries, lack of trust, problems with sexuality, control issues, dependency, obsession, anger, denial, re repression, and that's it. Um, for help, start being honest with yourself and your partner. Stop negative thinking. Don't take things personally. Take breaks. Consider counseling. Rely on peer support. And established boundaries. Instead of relying on peer support, isn't that what codependency is? Where you rely on other, yeah, a secular relationship, and where the other person needs the other, and where, in which one person needs the other person, who in turn needs to be needed. Yeah. So, peer support might not be the best thing. But, like I said, if it is codependency. I can be there for that. It doesn't bother me. I've, it's the hell. Some of my family is codependent. To be honest, <laughs> been around my whole lot my whole life. It doesn't bother me. But that's all I really want to touch on. Chesty, I do hope you see this, and if you do see this, reach out to me. At least tell me what exactly I need to do to get you back. Because at this point, it's the only thing that's going to fix this feeling of needing you I know it sounds like I'm codependent but it's just inside feeling that I need you that's all I can really depend on right now Like I said, just reach out to me. You know where I can be found. Whether you comment on the video or list me on uh, Instagram or want my number, you can get it from me. It's just whatever. But yeah, that's all I really want to touch on. And I'll catch you on this one.